everyone, Alec here, and in this video, I'm showing you Veed's new webcam and screen recorder tool that they have just launched. So I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can use it yourself. So the tool we're using is Veed, and you can either Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and click on the first link, or you can just head over to the link that I'm gonna put in the description below. So once we're on Veed's webcam and screen recording tool, the first thing we're prompted to do is to pick a layout. So here we can see, first of all, we have quite a few options. And the first option is just to have your face. So just the webcam, you don't wanna share your screen, you just wanna show your face. Then we have the screen recording option where you don't show your face at all. So this is where you just wanna show your screen. And then we have a combination of both. So let's say you want to share your screen while showing your face, just like I'm doing right now. You can go ahead and potentially choose the webcam insert one or the webcam insert two, where you're in a little bubble in the bottom of the left or the right of the screen. And and then we also have the split screen one or split screen two, where you're either split on the left side or the right side of the screen with your screen recording. So for an example, let's just say I want to be in the split screen. I can choose it. I select to share my screen. And as we can see, if I close this right now, I am being shared and I'm in the webcam and I also have my screen being captured. So once I want to start recording, I can go ahead and just click on this record button and then I have a three second countdown and now my video is being recorded. Now you might notice there's a slight delay between my screen recording and the audio of this video, but that's only because I'm recording the screen twice. This is taking up a lot of processing power on my computer, but when you go ahead and screen record yourself, obviously you're not gonna be screen recording twice, if that makes any sense. So you shouldn't have any delay. Now, once you're happy with your recording, you can go ahead and click on the stop button. And then here you have three options. So you can either edit your video, you can either download it straight to your computer. So if I click on that, as you can see, it downloads. I close that and then you can also re-record. So let's just say I wasn't happy with it. I click on re-record, gonna have to share my screen and I actually want to change the layout. So I click on this layout option down here and let's just say I want the webcam insert, right? So if I choose this one right here and I close this and now you can see I'm in the bottom left of the screen. So again, if I click on the record button, I have a three second countdown and let's just say for an example, I head over to YouTube and I just type in Veed and there you go, just a quick screen recording. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thank you very much. And then I go back to my screen recording and once I'm happy with it again, I just click on stop. And now this time I'm gonna go ahead and edit it. So now I'm taken into Veed's online video editor and here I can actually edit my screen recording straight away. So if you have a look, if I click on play and let's just say for an example, I head over to you. As you can see, I have my screen recording. Again, I do wanna mention that there is delay, but this is only due to the fact that my screen is being screen recorded twice. In the bottom right, I have two screen recording windows open and I was recording within Veed, so my computer was taking up a lot of processing power. But when you screen record yourself, your audio and video should be in sync. So once I'm in Veed's video editor, here I can do a bunch of different things. For example, if I want to trim off the end where I click on the stop button, I can just click and drag. And if I wanted to remove the beginning where I click the start button and the countdown, I click and drag there, and then I can just drag this back to the beginning. I can do a bunch of things such as add subtitles, I can add text to my video, I can add images, I can also add audio, and let's just say I wanted to draw on my video presentation, right? Let's just say there's this video. Imagine I'm talking about watching the videos. I can just click on add new layer to drawing. I click on the canvas and then just be like, watch these videos, go and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You can change the time that the drawing appears on the video. And then once you're happy with your screen recording, you can go ahead and just click on the download button in the top right. Now let's imagine you want to share the screen recording to Instagram, for example. I can click on the canvas size drop down menu in the top right, and I could choose the square one by one aspect ratio. And then I just go ahead to my video tab and here I can click on fill frame or fit frame. And as you can see, if I just get rid of the drawing right here, if I delete that, as you can see, I am now fit into the canvas. I can also stretch this so I can fit it however I want into the video canvas. But what I'm gonna do is go back to the video tab, click on fill frame. I'm also gonna go back to the original, fill frame right here, click on download in the top right, and then Veed starts to render the screen recording with all of my video edits. And that is how to record your screen and your webcam at the same time without downloading any software. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And that being said, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.